dwellers and welcome back to the next episode of our fallout 3 let's play series you join me here in a little lamplight where we need to figure out how to get into vault 87 and i think the way we need to go is back towards the great chamber we've got a couple of little kiddos here we should talk to there's a unique gun i'd like to pick up as well as a few other bits and bobs don't think we need the souvenir we need to go back to the splunkers cave here wow they've got themselves quite the little setup i like all the lights they're very cool Ooh, but i don't like their uh choice in radio activities and that's not good let's see if we can get out of here holy bobs there we go <laughs> wasn't expecting to bobble in there there we go all right into the great chamber. Nice. We've got Hooligan. I think there's one called Rex and maybe a third one. That looks like it's Penny running around. Or is that Princess? I can never remember. Dang, these kids are fast and they seem to run everywhere. Watch it. Watch oh, it. you're just a little lamplighter. Whoop, excuse me. Good gravy, kids. Thank you. Alright, I think we need to go maybe this way. We are looking for... Hey, excuse me, hey. hey. The mayor said it's okay for you to be in here, right? Because Mungos aren't allowed in here unless the mayor says so. So are you an okay Mungo? Because if you aren't an okay Mungo, then that means we should stop you. And that means I've got to get my gun from lockdown. So stay here, okay? No, no, I'm not here to cause any problems. You don't need your gun. Oh, that's good because Mayor McCready says I can't have my gun in town anywhere, not since last time. But that was totally an accident anyway. That reminds me, gotten a Nuka-Cola? Because if I'm not going to have a gun in town, then it must be okay for me to have one more Nuka, right? Anyway, everyone calls me Zip, you know. Like a zipper. Only not really like that because I'm not made of metal. But I do go up and down, I guess. Why are you called Zip? Why Zip? Or why do I have a nickname at all? I mean, why don't people just call me Ricky, or Yancey, or Eustace P. Vanderbagger the third? I mean, they say it's because I'm so fast. But that doesn't make sense because I don't think I'm all that fast. It's just... That they're all slow. I guess it's just one of those mysteries that will never really get answered. Sort of like how people made bubbles in Nuka Cola. Say, got any cola? I don't have any bottles of Nuka Cola. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got lots of trade. But you got no Nuka? You're not getting nothing. No way. Okay, well, I'm going away. You stay here, okay? Okay. See you next time, miss. Jeez. Okie dokie. He's a little fast, isn't he? <laughs> I think actually I did have some Nuka before I came in here, but I think I drank it to get some carry weight down, and that is hey. Ginger. Hey! You're a Claire? Okay, RJ had better have a good reason to let you in. Because right now, all I'm seeing is a Mungo who's here to take our food and screw us over! Well, the mayor let me in for rescuing those kids. Oh, great. Maybe next he'll take in a death claw or something, and he'll make it the town mascot. But anyway, yeah, thanks for bringing them back in one piece. Maybe now they'll learn to be more careful out there. If you need what passes for food down here, look me up. Name's Eclair. If you so much a snicker, I'll carve you up for steaks. Why are you called Eclair? Well... I didn't get the nickname for being fat and full of cream, if that's what you're asking. Back when I was on the scav team, I found some pages from an old cookbook. Sometimes I try them out. Just for the record, don't try making an eclair out of cave fungus. The taste sticks with you, and not in a good way. Good to know. Alright, well, I'll let you get back to your food. About time, man. This mold isn't getting any tastier. Okie dokie. Wow. Interesting kids they have here. You're a little lamplighter. I am looking for Billy, I think is his name. And we're looking for, is it Jacob? And I do think I need to talk to the mayor again. One of these kids all run around. <laughs> They're hard to keep up with. 
and then half the time you end up chasing one that isn't named. Who are you? You're Penny. Oh, you're just a little lamplighter, that's what I thought. Let me... Good gravy, kids. Slow down. I'm an old lady here. You're my hero, ma'am. I want to be just like you when I grow up. Oh, it's dark in here. Why do you have the nickname Penny? It's not a nickname. My name's Penelope. They're just lazy and don't like saying the whole thing is all. I'll have to go. Later. All right, I can't remember if we talked to her the other day or not. There we go. Put a little bit of light on. Oh, that looks like the little gentleman I need to talk to right there. Joseph. Well, now, here's something new. What's a grown-up like you doing in Little Lamplight? Don't tell me McCready's going soft on us. Well, Mayor McCready let me in for rescuing those kids. That was you? Well, my most sincere thanks, then. You brought my sister Penny back to me, and I couldn't ask more than that. I'm Joseph, and if there's ever anything I can do for you, just name it. As the oldest kid in town, I spent most of my time teaching, but I do what I can to keep the kids clean and fresh-faced. Say, if you're ever looking for a haircut, I'd be glad to offer my services. You only have to ask. Oh, nice. Well, what sort of education do the kids get in here? Well, back at the start, all the children had were the notes from the grown-ups that hadn't left yet, and a few books on caves from the store. But after finding the vault, a few scavengers brought back holotapes for basic schooling, reading, basic math, encyclopedias, that sort of thing. We don't get many books anymore from the scav team, but I make sure to keep my own notes on the computer for whoever takes over after I leave. What do you teach the kids? Mostly whatever they want to learn. We don't have strict classes or anything down here, but it does mean they're interested in what I'm teaching. But everyone learns the basics of fighting and shooting and survival. We've all got obvious reasons to be interested in that. Yes, you do. How thorough are your teaching materials? We entered all of the books and holotapes into the computer, but frankly, there are a lot of important subjects the Volt's material didn't cover. I could wish for more, but we're probably still the best school in the wasteland. Maybe the only school in the wasteland, really. As far as I've seen, well, I guess that's all I need to know. Glad I could help. Well, can you give me directions? I should be able to do that. I'm looking for Vault 87. Can you help me find it? You can only get there through Murder Pass, and we keep guards there to keep the little kids out. But if you want to have a look, it's north of the souvenir shop. I guess that's enough for now. Okay. And I need to go. Okay. Bye-bye. Alright, so we need to keep an eye on him. And I think I need to talk to the mayor again, so I'm going to have to find him. I th actually know. I think I need to go back into one the cavern. Back here, maybe. There's a computer terminal I need to look at could be not here all right let me go back up give me a minute while I find it who are you you're Rex hooligan Rex and ginger maybe over here is this murder pass or is this back to the computer this goes back to the computer so I think what I need to do is find out that I can't get through on this computer before I talk to him again. Yeah, here we go, right up here. Because this is the door into Vault 87, and the terminal is not powered. So now I need to get it powered up. And I think Joseph turned it off because they didn't know how to crack the password on it, which we should be able to do quite easily. I just need to find him again. Ah, here we go. Here's what? Mayor McCready. What do you want, Mungo? Well, can you give me directions? What do I look like, your tour guide? Yeah, um, I really need to get into Vault 87. Do you know the way? It's not safe, even for someone as brave as you. There's monsters back there. Well, so do you know the way to get there? Yeah, 
I do? It's through Murder Pass. Not a real safe way to go, but it's the only door that works. That's the only way? It's the only way that works, yeah. The other door hasn't worked since before I was here. Computer's busted, and not even Joseph can make it work. Where can I find Joseph? I'm the mayor, not a babysitter, Mungo. Beats me. Maybe he's back there by the door. Fuck if I know. All right, well, see you around there. Yeah, that's nice. Scram. Yep, yep. All right. I, You know I've never gone through Murder Pass. That would actually be kind of interesting. Uh, let me see. I want to find Billy, too. So let me search around for him. All right, is this... Yeah, this is Billy here. I want to talk to him. Hello, I'm Billy. Welcome to Widow Wamp White. Hey, you look like you're handy with the weapon. I got kicked off the scab team, so I guess I don't need mine anymore. Wanna buy my Wazer rifle? Five hundred caps, and it's all yours. Well, let's use our barter and say, how about 250 caps instead? Is it a deal? That's not a lot, but okay. Bye now. Nice. So now we have the Wazer rifle. I love this. We'll never use it, but I did want to pick it up for our collection. It's an energy weapon, which we unfortunately are not very skilled at. 28. Yeah, 28 damage. But I wanted it, so we've gotten it now. Now I just need to go and find Joseph again. So give me a few more minutes, guys. Well, I can come join you there ah, too. here we go. But I... What's happening? I hear there's a door that doesn't work. Nuh-uh. Door works fine. Computer's broke. Well, maybe not broke, but it sure don't work right. I turned it off because it was just wasting power. Don't you have the password? Nope. Nobody ever wrote it down. And then one day somebody forgot. You know how it goes. Well, can you turn the computer back on? Sure, if you want. Come on, it's over here. Hey. Nice. Whoop. Okay, hey. let's follow him. He was so hard to track down. We had to go all over this place. <laughs> Jeez. These kids are fast. Alright guys, he is going to open this, or turn the computer back on for us. Well, and then we'll be able to get into Vault 87. You do get bigger and stronger, but it doesn't really make you stupid. All right, thank you very much. Well, because having them stay means they start. I think he's talking to his sister Penny. All right, let's see if we can get in here fairly quickly. There we go. Not too bad. Let's unlock our door and back out all the time. and we are ready like to go it. in it's tradition. I do have our yeah nice so I think this was supposed to be like a secret entrance into the vault picking up the trail completed nice this is kind of like the back entrance the main entrance is too irradiated for us to go through that way grab those. I don't think there's anything on here. Corrupted. Don't know what to do. My Jason, my little boy, he's gone. My wife won't talk anymore. She just sits in this godforsaken sub-level and stares out of the windows at the rock wall as if looking across the sunlit meadow or a lazy summertime lake. Jason was my life. He was my joy, my meaning. Now all this work seems pointless. This was a mistake. Better we had all died together outside than inside this. Permanent tomb. I'm scared. Oh, wow. Nothing has meaning to me anymore. Every time I'm in the outer tunnels, I swear I hear children's laughter. The vault doctors say it's just my mind compensating for the loss of Jason. But I know I'm not crazy. They gave me new pills, but pills are for crazy people. I refuse to take these pills. I am not crazy. Why bring up kids in a hellhole like this? Why? This is a pointless existence. Oh, wow. K 
can't stand the sound anymore. Take the pills. They say, why take them? I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. Jason's laughter. Not family. Gone forever. Stuck here for eternity. And I am insane. I am. I am forever. Oh, wow. So he could hear the little kiddos down there playing and thought he was going crazy. That's really sad. There we go. I guess that would be enough to drive somebody crazy. Especially if they thought their son was gone. Alright, nothing there. I think we need to head through here. Looks like he kind of barricaded himself in there. And, and now we are maybe not officially in the vault, but we are in the vault. Looks like they didn't complete it. Kind of weird. I don't think we need any whiskey. We'll be good without that. Alright, now it's time to make our way through all of the super mutants in here. Now, unfortunately, because of our level, they are all going to be high-leveled super mutants, which is good for XP, but makes our job just a little bit harder to do. We definitely have to keep alive <laughs> and keep everything alive here. All right, so I think this would have led from Murder Pass. You know, one of these days, I'm going to actually have to go through that way. I've never tried it. I have no idea what's back there. I don't think I've even ever seen anybody go through that way. Whoa, that's a lot of roaches. Yeah. Oh, really, dude? Yep, you can go away. There you go. I probably should have popped back to Megaton and repaired up our dart gun. It's getting a little on the worn side. And apparently I can't hit for toffee today. Where's the other one? Whoop. Forgot to fat seam. Oh well. Oh, I can hear the super mutants already. There we go. We got him. So the super mutants were just out here nomming down on skeletons, huh? Oh dang. Okay, you're a brute. So you're not too bad. But I'm sure there's going to be a lot of mute or um masters and overlords in here that's all we need off of you must have heard us taking out the roaches or maybe they come down here to fight the roaches occasionally oh nice you were just a basic mutant oh hey oh dang Another brute, so you should go down pretty quickly, I hope. What was that? Not a thing, sir. There you go. That should have about done it. There you go. Got any grenades? No. That's a sad. I wish I had more with me. I'm sure they'd really come in handy in here. All right, looks like we're heading over this way. I used to hate this vault when I first started playing the game. I hated coming in here. It was always so dark and, I don't know, kind of creepy. I think the only thing worse that could have been in here would have been a bunch of ghouls. Looks like this is just an empty room. Good to know. And I'm going to assume this one is as well. It is. All right, fair enough. Well, I suppose we should bobble in here then. Looks like we are heading up. You 
you know, you would think these scientists would get the hint that the FEV, there's our first master here, is no good. Does nothing but cause problems. There you go. Holy heck. Yes, nice. Two frag grenades. I will definitely take them. I probably should have checked the kiddos to see if they had any. Oh well. We'll be fine without it. I'm sure we could probably find a few more along the way. Alright, we've got people up there. Let's get that poison working on you. Guess we'll go this way first, see what's over here. We've got a hallway. Alright, this is just a room. Any stim packs laying around? Yes, nice. Sell the medics. I think we're good with that. Little body parts and stuff everywhere. Yuck. Alright, you came down. Let's get another shot off on you. Make it two. There you go. There you go. Ooh, let's hold my breath on that one. Nice, another grenade. Anybody else living out in here? Any? Oh, nice, two more grenades. That's gonna help. Looks like we have a storage room back here. Yeah, let me check the lockers real quick. Nice, another recon armor. We're already repaired up. But I will take it. They're kind of hard to find. Don't come across them very often. And I hate paying the caps to have it repaired because nobody seems to be able to repair it all the way up. Oh, looks like we have some munition boxes in here. Nothing there for a stage. Nice, I'll take that. Oh, nice. Oh, is that another one? Nice. That is going to come in handy. Anything in here? Doesn't look like it. Just some rubble. Alright, that was a good find. So I guess we need to start heading... Nope, we got a room over here. So let's see, I thought we... Could start heading upstairs. You're our overlord. You are going to be a pain. Alright, we've got 25 of them now. Dang, even with a hundred and explosives. These barely do anything to them. I think we need some plasma grenades. Alright, you're down. I don't want to waste any more on you. There you go, buddy. Holy bobs. Oh, okay, so you've got the tri-beam laser rifles. Those sell for a decent amount, so I am going to pick them up. I'll just repair them so that we um, have our carry weight there as we get them. But nothing major in there. And did we check here? No, we didn't. Oh, I thought that was some mintats. Oh, darts, nice. Alright, that's it. Let's find our stairs up. Which I think we're over here. Well, at least a hallway. 
All right, we can't go in there. Dang, lots of bloody bits everywhere. Super mutants, I swear. Oh, nice. Give you a little shot in the bum. All right, that's a very hard lock. We need to go find the lock pick, bobblehead. Get ourselves up to 100. I'm tired of not being able to open all the harder locks. Gotta probably look up where that's at. Dang, this gun does nothing for it. Does it? Oh, I hate to switch to my regular gun because I don't know if I can get enough shots off on him to kill him. I don't think that's going to kill him unless we get lucky. Nope. Oh, dang. Ding, ding, ding. I wanted to duck around. Come on. Around the corner. Got him. Alright. I think you still got a hit off on this, but we're good. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and repair that up. What do we have under aid? There we go. Couple blood packs that should heal us a little bit. And we'll be good. Alright. Got a bathroom here. Nope. Nothing we need. We can't get in that door. I think that's probably the shortcut door. That's just another bathroom. That's blocked off. I oh I see him over there. What are you? And can we kill you outright? You are an overlord. Oh dang, I don't know guys. I guess try it. Nope. Oh dang. Back to the side. Oh dang, I didn't see the other guy. Oh dang, 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 dang. Made mistakes, made mistakes. Big mistakes. Oh dang, oh dang, ding, ding, dang. Alright, let's get down. Should have stuck with the dart gun. Oh dang, you're not, you are not the one I wanted. I thought you were the other one. Oh dang. We gotta sneak attack him. We gotta get back into sneak. Let's take another stem pack. Let's reload our gun. I don't think they followed us. No, they stopped. We got the one guy almost dead. Back to work. Dang, where did they go? <laughs> they are like super fast. All right. You're there. The other one's over there. Let's be safe. Come on, come on. There you go. You're gone. Nice. A mini nuke. Holy pop. Thank goodness he didn't have a fat man on him. We'd be dead. Alright, let's get some poison working on you. Oh, nice. Two more grenades. I'll take those. You're going to go around. I'm going to loot your bags if I can. Oh, nice. Two more grenades. Let's get you another little shot. 
You're going to go that way. I'm going to leave that back. Oh, nice. I think we've made up all our grenades that we used on the other guy. All right, you are back that you don't know where I'm at. Let's get closer. And we're going to go in the back. That should get him. Yep. Oh, maybe. There we got him. Holy bobs. Look at him fly. <laughs> I love it. I think we're good. Which way are we going here? I don't know. I'm. Do we go up or do we go down? All right. Let me see where this door leads us to. Okay, that's the very hard lock. So this was probably the shortcut that we need. So I think the way we need to go is right here. We need to go down this way. Oh yeah. Alright, let me see what you are. Let's go a little closer. Uh oh. No. You're just a master though, but there's somebody else in there. If I take the chance, we are going to end up in a big fight we don't want to be in. Let's just throw this in. There we go. Oh, dang. Dang, dang, dang. Back up. But we did get one of them. Don't need any of that. Oh, dang. Keep chucking them back there. No, no. Keep chucking them. Uh oh. <laughs> it's gonna blow. There we got him. Holy heck. Oh, I'll just take everything off of you. Did we get both of them? Is the question. No, I don't think so. Oh, you're just almost dead. I'm not gonna waste the thing. I'll just shoot you with that. Holy bobs. Oh, nice. There's our level up. Ooh, okay, guys. We've got some stuff to think about here. We need to go get the small guns. Bobblehead still. I'll have to look that up. I need the repair one. Energy weapons. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and max out barter because I have that bobblehead and then I'm going to put the rest of them into energy weapons I think and then is there anything new this round solar power puppies no no nothing new all right so I'm going to go with another rank of intense training we can still take this one and I think one more maybe and I'm going to go ahead and put it into I'm going to put it into, actually, I'm going to reset that. Can I, oh, I can't reset it. Okay. Um, I'm going to put it into perception this time. All right. I have a perk at level 30 I'm going to take that's going to bring all of our stats up to 9. I don't think we need anything off of here. Just... The water filtration system was adding a bit too much chemical re rebalance or solution, so nothing to service injuries, okay. There we go. Oh, nice. Three more frag grenades. I'll take those. Oh, I'll take the magnum rounds, and we can get out of there. So this is like a little storage room. Uh, probably nothing in these. Alright guys, just a little bit of railway spikes in there. Went ahead and grabbed them. I'll use them 
as currency. The disc is a dead end ring, it looks like. So I think, is it a dead end ring? Let me double check. Yes, it is. So we really didn't need to come in here, but it's all good. We killed them anyways. They won't be coming in trying to ambush us from behind. So we must need to go up the hallway. Instead of down. Yeah, we can't go that way. We killed everyone there. We must need to go up. I don't know why I was thinking we came from the up. Oh, hey, bud. Oh, you know what? There's like... There we go. There's two of them over there. Might as well try and get rid of them this way. There's actually one of them now. Alright, I think we're good. Oh, dang. That's a lot of rads. Oh, nope. And it's a dead end. Good enough for me. Nothing in there. Alright, so they've got to be in this room here, right? Let's go in here and get rid of this last guy. Yeah, you're... About, oh, no, you are not about dead. Ah! Mistakes were made. I thought you were the other guys. Yep. You don't hear anything. I'm hearing stuff. Go back to hidden. Were they over here? Oh, there you are. You're the one I wanted to die. Dang, he tanked that. There you go. Another mini nuke. Holy bobs. Alright, let me get back here. I'm hidden again. Let's see if we can just take this guy out with our Lincoln repeater. Not quite. We're not going to. All right, wait a minute. What if we come over here? No, we're not. All right, I have an idea. I have an idea. Whoop, that's not the idea. <laughs> Let's get out our minds, right? Put some mines out here. I'll put, I guess, one there. Maybe we'll put two there. Because these guys seem to be able to tank them pretty good. There we go. That ought to do us. And then let's go here. And get him to walk over that way. I think it worked. Oh, no, 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 no. Ouch. Alright, he's dead. We almost got caught in that blast. Dang, there are more mini nukes in here than I've seen anywhere. Take those. I don't think I need that. There we go. I'll just take all that. Alright, I think we're pretty good to move on. Looks good to me. I think we need to head back this way and down. Chinese assault rifle. We don't need to keep those anymore. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Do we need to jump over that? Or is that the way we came? Maybe it is. Alright, back up then. Uh, maybe we need to go through this door. 
That would make more sense. The guys have kind of barricaded themselves so nobody can come and flank them, I guess. All kinds of weird stuff there. I don't know why they were fighting with the spatula. Yeah, this looks like our door to the test labs. All right, well, before I go in there, let me repair up some of these laser rifles. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead. All right. Nice. So we should be getting pretty close to our objective. What are you? You're a master. Okay, wait a minute. I think we can switch over to this and just shoot you right in the noggin. Yep. Yep, we can. And nobody's the wiser. Nice. Twelve missiles that I will never use. Or ten millimeter round that we really don't need either, but you're just an easy safe. Can we force you? Yes, we can. Nice. Oh, I didn't want that. Here we go. Anything back here? Nope. Alrighty. Oh, nice. Take that in case we ever do. Whoa, hey. Oh, dang. Wrong gun. <laughs> Wrong gun. Oh, wow. That is very disturbing looking. I don't want to go in there. There's too many rads for me. All right. Where are we at now? Anyone in there? Test chambers. No. Nothing in there. Ooh, oh, hey, little buddy. What are you? You're just a master. Let's see if we can headshot you. Yep, we can. Nice. Okay. Are we good? We're good. Alright, nothing else in there. That room has been barricaded, I think. It has been. What about over here? Looks like we just have a terminal. Other armor I don't need. Take the medex. All right. Whoa, hey, you. Go away. <laughs> and you're empty. You! Go over there! Uh, please! Uh, come speak to me! I, I'm in the room to your left! Oh, use the intercom next to the window! It can't be! Either you are quite real, and I am going quite mad! Could you actually be a pure human? A friendly super mutant? Well, now I've seen everything. No! Oh, must you use that vulgar term? Yes. I was born in the FEV chambers. But a super mutant, I certainly am not. I prefer the term meta <laughs> yeah. Suits me better, don't you think? Perhaps I'm getting ahead of myself. The name's Fox. How ironic that others consider you a mutant of their kind. Yes. Indeed, it is ironic. Forgive my astonishment, but I hadn't expected to meet someone with such a learned outlook of these things. It is a pleasant change. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. It was only a matter of time before someone like you showed up for the GEC. 
What do you know about the GAC? I know what it is. I know where it is. And best of all, I know how you can get your hands on it. Well, why would you help me? Because you can help me. Let me out of this place. I can't take it anymore. I can't even recall how long I've been here. Take me with you, and I'll retrieve the GAC for you. Well, why would I have difficulty getting the GAC? The chamber in which the GAC resides is absolutely flooded with radiation. It's unlikely you'd survive very long. Myself, on the other hand, have surprisingly inherited a useful trait from my fellow meta-humans. I am highly resistant to radiation. Let me out of here, and I will place the GAC safely in your hands. Well, how do I get you out? At the end of the hallway, to your right is a maintenance room. Inside, you'll find the fire control console for the medical area. Uh, trip the alarm on it, and I'll be able to get out. Oh, a word of warning, though. Tripping the console activates a failsafe and will open all the recovery rooms in the medical area. So, what do you think? Can you do it? Well, okay, Fox. You've got yourself a deal. I'm glad to see you are a sensible person. Now... Get me out of this place. I can't stand it anymore. Well, what do I do once I trip the fire control console? I'll, I'll stay here until you've cleared a path to me. So just be careful. Some of these uh, failed experiments are quite nasty. Well, do you know what the GEC does? We can discuss this later. Right now, concentrate on getting this door open. <laughs> okay, I have to go now. It is my hope that we will speak again soon. We will, Fox. We will. So I looked in that. And actually, before I let him out, we are going to clear out the rest of the vault. Because it is very easy for him to die. All he's going to end up with, I believe, is a super sledge. He won't, like, take any weapons or anything from you at this point. Now, Fox is a companion. After you finish a certain part of the game, if you have high um, karma, he's a good karma character. Yeah, you guys. Uh, let me see what I can do here. I don't want to take the chance of him. Let me dump two of them there. And I'm going to put one of them over there. Probably put one there too. And then back to our dart gun. Let's see which one's going to take the bait. Alright, you're going to come that way. You're going that way. Not much damage, unfortunately. Alright, let's switch over to our grenades. There we go. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. <laughs> oh, man. We've got 14 left, 15 left. Oh dang, that hurt me. All right, let me switch back over to this gun. All right. Oh dang, right beside him. Got him that time. Okay, all right, you should be dead now. Come on. There you go. And you should be dead. Nice. Holy bops. Take both of those. 
take that. He, they set off all of our mines. That's fine. I think if we do this, we should have a clear shot back to the Gek once we get Fox in our uh, as a temporary companion here. I just don't want to take the chance of him dying along the way because then we have, well, I mean, we can get in there to the Gek. It's just going to be a lot harder. And I really like Fox. He is my favorite companion in the game. Not that I'm going to be using him. But. Ooh, that was right underneath of him. That got my leg. Alright, I think I can switch over to our other gun. Let me repair ourselves up here. There we go. These guys are such a pain. There you go. Oh, dang! Didn't see you. Alright. Holy bobs. Did not see the second one there. I'll just take all your stuff. I just want that. I think we already looked in there. Alright, so we have a room back there. We have a hard lock here. There we got it. Ah. Uh, it's an advanced radiation suit. Some more micro cells. Nice. Uh, that's it from there. Don't need that. Take the rat away. Nope. Didn't want that. Wanted the rat away on the side. Yeah. So I guess you could grab the radiation suit and go through and be able to make it with some rat X and stuff. But, you know, like I said, I like Fox. We're going to definitely be sending him to... Underworld. Whenever we have the opportunity to, we go back a little bit further, make sure this is as far as we need to go. Oh, dang. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Six left. There we go. Can we get him? Only a 30% chance. Oh, maybe. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, kill him. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. These guys were no joke, I swear. Anyone else? Okay. <laughs> I thought that was a big bottomless pit. Holy bobs. Good gravy. How far back does this place go? Alright, that's a dead end. You're another overlord. No, not gonna work. Alright, back to our mind trick then. How do I, I have five left? I have a plasma mine. I need to save a couple of those mines. I'm gonna drop that right there. Anyone else here? I don't think so. Alright. There we go. That did some damage. Not a lot, but it did some. Huh? 
Must have been nothing. I think we can get him. Don't mess. Oh, dang, do some damage. There we got him. Holy bobbles. Is that all of them now? Please be all of them. I think this is... That's where the Gek is at. Nice. So we've gotten all the way up here. Don't need any of that mess. Anything over here? Yeah, we've got another first aid kit. All right. I think we are good to head back to Fox and let him out. Holy bobs. That was a lot of them. Did I check that? No, but there was nothing in there. All right, guys. I am back down by Fox's room here. And what I'm going to do is actually switch back over to our frag mines because we do have some creatures here and I think that room is okay. And I don't think there's anything in that room. I think it's this room here that we need to worry about. Yeah, there's a centaur in there. And then hiding in there, we have somebody so let me bobble those two there and I'm gonna put my last one right there just in case and then oh I did have another one that's all right we've got these guys in here and we are just gonna chuck our grenades in did we get them all nope Busted up limb, but I think we're good. There we go. We have plenty of stem packs to spare. These guys are all dead. Nice. No one else in here, right? Nope. Nobody else in here. Alright, guys, let's go ahead and break on or break into the terminal here really quickly. There we go, very quickly. We're getting better at the first time guesses. And I think once you activate this, this doesn't do anything. These doors all automatically open up. And now all we need to do is come out and wait for the frag mines to go off. Or not. Dang, how did he know where we were at? Sid, huh? There we go. There went the other one. Nice. That's mine. Yeah, the centaurs are pretty weak. Little guys, there's nothing in there. It's like you can kind of see the FEV being piped through. And we just have a bunch of dead wastelanders in here. I guess these guys didn't work out so well jet yeah must have been like raiders alrighty let's go get Fox and continue on make sure he's okay hey little buddy finally freedom true freedom <laughs> I cannot thank you enough for this gift you have no idea how long I pictured this moment in my mind, and it feels far better than I'd imagined. Now, for my part of the bargain, follow me. Alrighty, there we go. And we got some good karma for rescuing him. I do love Fox. He is just so great. But he's awful slow. <laughs> All right, we got Fox all the way up okay. here. You stay here. Beyond this door, the hallways and chambers are flooded with radiation. I'll get the case and bring it right back. Keep your eyes open. Any of my lesser-minded brethren are bound to stumble across us. 
All right, but I think we should be good since we've taken everyone out. You can kind of come over here and see him walk through. There he goes down that way. I'm going to keep my eye out on this back hallway just in case. And it doesn't take him very long to go get it. In fact, it's much quicker than our walk up here. So he should be here soon. Just want to keep an eye on the back hallway. Make sure nobody comes. I can already hear him walking back. Nice. Didn't take long at all. There he is. All right, folks. As promised, yeah, here's the gek. I hope it's worth it. Uh, I'm afraid this is where you and I part company. I'll find my way out of this place. Don't worry. Maybe we'll meet again somewhere in the, the wasteland. Oh, well, thank you so much, folks. I really appreciate it. You be careful out there until we meet again. All right, guys. Wow, we have made it through Vault 87. We have gotten the GAC with a little bit of help. And now we need to get our way back out of here. Hopefully without incident. Good thing we did come through and clear out all of the super mutants. That would have taken so much longer if we had not. Probably a lot of reloading trying to keep Fox alive. Since these guys are so much higher level than him. And he only has a super sledge where they're shooting guns. I don't think I've ever seen him actually pick a gun up. Who keeps closing this door? I swear. Alright. But, for now, let's get out of here. Whoa, dang. I saw that thing bounce out of the corner of our eye there. Well, this does not look good. And it looks like the Enclave has showed up. Because, of course, they have. Can't here. leave well enough alone, can they? Colonel Autumn. Good work, soldier. Make sure the Gek is secured aboard my Vertibird. Yes, sir. I'll have the text come down and remove it immediately, sir. You're certain she's unharmed? Yes, sir. She'll pass out shortly, but we can revive her. Excellent. Prepare her for transport immediately. Right away, sir. There we go. Now where are we going to end up is the question. Uh-oh. I don't feel so, lucky anymore. They took all our late. stuff. Let's keep this nice and simple. You're going to tell me the code for that purifier, and you're going to tell me now. Well, what the heck is going on here? I'll tell you what's going on here. You lost. The good guys won this one. And now we're just wrapping up loose ends. We've got the purifier. Now we just need the code to start it. You're going to give me that code now and save us all a lot of trouble. Maybe I'll even let you go. So how about it? Well, why do you want this code so badly? You know why. We can't start the purifier without it. The longer the purifier isn't running, the more people suffer. Now, I'm running out of patience, son. I want that code, and I want it now. Oh, I don't know what the code is. You lie. Colonel, I have need of you. Mr. President, I have no time for other matters. I'll be with you shortly. Now, Colonel. Yes, sir. Hmm. Looks like him and President Eden aren't getting along. I do apologize for Colonel Autumn's attitude. He's been under a great deal of stress lately. I've no doubt that you know who I am. I'm sure you've heard my radio broadcasts. I'd like to have a word with you face to face. 
I think there are a few things that you and I should discuss. You'll find your possessions in the locker near the door. I'll unlock the way for you. And I'll unlock your restraints as well. I'll be waiting for you in my office. Please don't carry. All right. Well, apparently we were being restrained in some kind of a container. But, let's see, I guess our stuff is all in there. We will definitely be grabbing that in the next episode and making our way out of the Enclave Bunker and apparently starting American Dream. But for now, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Ball Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed and I hope I see you in the next one. Let's <laughs> go.